In this section, we're going to talk about PGP basics and applications. Routing protocols are basically divided into IGP and EGP, as you know. As it can be understood from the name, IGPs are the protocols used in the internal network and EGP is a generic name for the protocols used between networks in other, ne in other words, between different autonomous systems. Border Gateway Protocol BGP is also an EGP. BGP is very different from IGP routing protocols as the working mechanism. IGPs use criteria called metric to reach a target network from one point to another. For example, RIP uses the metric hop count. OSPF and EIGRP first try to find the fastest line and prefer that path by taking a look to the bandwidth, delay or something like that. Unlike BGP, it's a policy-based routing protocol that allows you to control traffic flow using many different features. The main purpose of BGP is to perform routing between different autonomous systems without a loop. As you can see in our figure, we have two autonomous systems and if you want to share the route between these two autonomous systems, we can use BGP. Many different parameters can be used for BGP path selection, but if none of these parameters are configured, BGP behaves like RIP and decide on the number of hops passed. The hop count means AS number in terminology of BGP. So let's say that each ISP has a different autonomous system number. 4 and AS5, let's say that. If HQ wants to reach to branch and if I don't configure any BGP attribute, the thing I'm gonna just look is the AS number that I'm passing. So the route will be in that direction because I'm just passing ISP to and oh, I'm sorry. ISP 4 and 5, let's say, and they are going to be 2 and 3. I'm just passing ISP 4 and ISP 5. I'm passing two ISPs, but in here I'm passing three ISPs. So this route will be preferred. All right. Let's take a look to the tables that we are using in BGP. We have BGP table, neighbor table and IP routing table. Neighbor table consists of all BGP configured neighbors. And please keep in mind that guys, neighbors are configured manually on BGP. BGP table contains all BGP routes and this table can be very very large sometimes and routing table contains the best paths for the destination networks as happened on the other protocols and lastly we are going to focus on the BGP message types the first message is open after the neighbor router is recognized it wants to initiate the neighborhood by sending the router open message. With this message, the two routers start the BGP peering. And the second message type is keep alive. Two peers periodically send this message to each other. A keep alive message is sent every 60 seconds. And with this message, the BGP neighborhood remains active. And we have update message, routing information sent between two neighbor, two peer routers and network information is contained in this update message. 
and we have lastly a notification message and this is a message sent by peering routers when there's a problem with the notification message the neighborhood bgp peer is ended